What does it mean to be rude? What does it mean to trust someone? What's offensive and what isn't offensive? What are your rules? There's a profound, powerful question. What rules do you have? I'm breaking some rules right now making this video. One of those rules is that I'm supposed to wear a shirt with a collar, that I have to present myself in a certain way in these videos, that I have to manage the viewer's image of me. Uh, another rule, this, this microphone, you're not supposed to see the cable going down. It's supposed to be clipped on there nicely. Silliness. It's all silliness. The gift is if you're willing to start to bring awareness to your rules and what rules do you have so for example I'm just gonna move my glasses here because they're crooked but I had a resistance to it for a second there because I have this rule that says when I'm making a video everything's supposed to be perfect and I'm not allowed to to do things like that or touch my nose because I have an itch or fix my hair you oh, you can't do that on the video cut retake it's not perfect all rules um, People aren't supposed to say things. Certain people are supposed to do things. If you bump my cart in the super, in a, in a, in a supermarket, you're supposed to say excuse me. And if you don't, I'm going to be like, oh, you didn't say excuse me. And I'm, and I'm off, you know, not being peaceful because this person broke my rule. There can be great clarity and great self-awareness that comes from starting to look at what our rules are. And... You may find the word rules to be harsh. Call it whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. But it's the expectations, the guidelines, the parameters, the rules that we have that govern our experience and the experience we have with others. It's these rules that bring us suffering. Um, now, sometimes they'll bring joy if someone does or says what they're supposed to do according to my rules, I can feel very good about that and I can experience joy. But more often than not, my focus is on when the rules are broken. And I don't even know what the rules are. All I know is I'm, I'm not happy, I'm not peaceful, I'm miserable, I'm angry, I'm jealous, I'm envious, whatever it might be. So if, I can start to, if we can start to bring awareness to that, well, how do you do that? Well, it's not about exploring what are the rules. What are my rules? Because that's, that's hard and it takes you up here and you're going to try to make this pretty list because you have a rule that says you got to do it a certain way. It's more about what I always talk about. It's more about noticing what is my experience in this moment. And if my experience in this moment is an experience that's less than peaceful, then a rule has been broken. There's some beliefs, some belief structure, some thought system that I have in place that some person, place, or thing has violated. Uh, there's a great line in the, uh, the big book of AA, and I think it's in one of the stories in the back, uh, where the person writes, I realize that if I'm upset for any reason or unhappy, it's because some person, place, or thing in my life is not behaving the way they should. And that is profound. Um, and if, if we can start to bring awareness to when we are less than peaceful, we will always find that it's because some person, place, or thing is not behaving the way I think they should. It's all about me. And it's all about my rules. And, and it's, it's all about the things I've talked about in the other videos. This person owes me an apology. Well, why do they owe me an apology? They broke one of my rules. Uh, this person needs to go over and do that. Well, why do they need to do that? They need to do that because I have a rule that says that's what you're supposed to do. And it's all shoulds and supposed tos and all this crazy making. And we can't stop that. We're human beings. That's what we do. But we, and if we set out to try to stop it, we're going to be miserable. But what we can do 
is again start to bring awareness to our rules start to bring awareness to when we're less than peaceful and then go inward how to how do we identify if we're less than peaceful it's a student of experience practice what is happening in my body physically if i'm not relaxed i'm not peaceful if my legs are tense my heart rate's up my hands are tight i'm picking my fingernails i'm distracted physically my breath is short that's less than peaceful we can look at what are the thoughts what are the thoughts i'm having well he should this this person should that this person didn't do this or or said this wrong or you know people are supposed to do this and it's just the right thing to do and it's nice and it's polite and on and on and on any of those thoughts are there i'm less than peaceful and then what are my emotions and my feelings at the time what usually associated with less than peaceful experiences are all the negatives you know i'm feeling angry i'm feeling resentful i'm carrying a grievance that's not really a feeling i'm feeling um sad i'm feeling hurt all associated with some person place or thing breaking the rules that i didn't even know i had so i'll say one more time i can't i can look for the rules it's probably not going to be as effective as bringing awareness to my experience when i'm less than peaceful and by bringing awareness to an experience when i'm less than peaceful we will discover that there's a rule somewhere that someone has violated some expectation and that's a whole another topic who am i to put expectations on other people let them be um i'm breaking a lot of the rules making this video so it's bringing awareness bringing awareness to what's my experience in this moment and then asking okay i am not peaceful in this moment what's behind that what thoughts am i believing and it's always the thoughts the thoughts that say this should be this way this person should do this this person should do that they didn't do this they parked the car wrong they bumped into the wall the person can't wash the dishes right they leave the toothpaste cap off they put the toilet paper roll with the paper hanging down instead of flapping over the top they won't put the toilet seat up on and on and on all rules and when they're violated they leave us less than peaceful and i don't know about you but i want to be peaceful